Is this the one? Has Taylor at last found a partner to accompany her down the aisle? The hottest celebrity couple in town, Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey, will be the focus of 2024. Travis, in contrast to all of her previous ex-partners, secured a feature on Karma He's the Guy on the Chiefs coming straight home to her. Could you honestly name another couple that was more bonded than them? We'll wait and we'll wait for quite some time. Having said that, how did the two end up meeting each other? People don't talk about that topic enough, to be honest. Although we're happy that they were able to find each other, it wouldn't hurt for the rest of us to learn how to locate the ideal mate. Who was the first to fall in love? Who played Cupid here? Let's investigate. Before anyone gets too excited, the two did not meet through a dating app Travis, the guest, did not follow in Jason's footsteps when it came to finding love. He won't let me lie about this Jason27, and I met on Tinder Kaylee Kelsey remarked. Actually, the Swift Kelsey tale began in 2016. At that moment, Travis truly brought the girl of his dreams into reality. During an online interview, our guy played a game of Kiss Mary Kill with three celebrities Ariana Grande, Katy Perry, and of course, Taylor Swift. Regretfully, Ariana passed away too soon. Travis was perspiring and it was between Katy and Taylor. See what he said about the person he would one day marry the kiss would then be with Taylor Swift. But wait, we haven't stopped there. For this one, we searched far into the past. Listen to Travis's description of the ideal woman I need to know that she can be such a well-known athlete and still maintain her dignity, manners, and class. It sounds a lot like someone we know, don't you think? Time travel to 2023, when the Chiefs player revealed something extremely, extremely juicy on the Travis and Jason New Heights podcast Jason gently brought up the fact that Travis had been to Taylor's Arrowhead Stadium show. Then Travis revealed that he had only gone to give her a bracelet he had made. What was contained within, right? just his number. It's safe to assume Jason was aware of his brother's activities. Isn't that what a fantastic place to start? He never got the chance to give it to her, I hate to break that to you guys. I was a little bummed that I didn't get to give her one of the bracelets I made for her because she doesn't talk before or after her shows because she has to save her voice for the 44 songs that she sings. Yes indeed, he was also quite displeased about that. That being said, we adore a man who knows what he wants and pursues it. As you can see, Kelsey was determined to speak with Taylor at least. Only that was all he was requesting, so that's positive for him. Our man felt fairly secure in himself. He therefore pulled some strings and made contact with those who knew her well he even managed to get in touch with her family. How could he not give in? No, really, Travis invested everything in his search for genuine love. Thus, while Taylor was playing at Arrowhead, the arena's management turned the locker room which the Chiefs also used into a dressing room for him. How are we aware of this? The reason for this is that Taylor's cousins uploaded a photo of themselves there. They were standing right in front of Kelsey's locker, this is not even fictitious. Thus Travis managed to have a one-on-one -on -one talk with Taylor, and I'll wager that the locker served as a genuine conversation starter. Travis scored the touchdown of a lifetime before anyone knew. Around this same period, fans began to notice some indications that Taylor, having recently broken up with Joe Alwyn, was seeing someone new. Aside from a couple of pictures showing them cuddling, fans noticed something rather intriguing while Taylor was in New York City. She was wearing a pendant that read forever and always a pair which was not only gorgeous but also a key piece of information. Some speculate that Taylor wanted fans to figure out what was going on. The Swifties clenched their knuckles and dug until they found the opal teardrop. It contained Kelsey's birthstone, in fact. He is a Libra, for those who are not familiar with astrology, and this is how the pendant appeared. Although word spread quickly, Taylor reportedly preferred to keep things quiet because she didn't want to ruin the surprise while it was still very fresh. Even Jason acknowledged that his brother was merely having fun and that he was unable to comment on their relationship. However, as soon as a rumor gains traction and is supported by solid evidence, people will start discussing it. More evidence that Taylor had found someone special came from the fact that she attended nearly every Chiefs game. Swift and Kelsey finally made things official after fending off rumors and attempting to keep their relationship under wraps for weeks. They unexpectedly became everyone's new favorite couple right away. Recall how Travis was attempting to locate someone in Taylor's vicinity in order to speak with the world-famous person? Also, admirers wished to express gratitude to the person in charge. Many began speculating about the identity of the Cupid character in this love story. Since Swift and Kelsey were best friends with Miles Teller, he was among the first faces on everyone's news feeds. Teller appeared in Swift's I Bet You Think About Me music video in 2021, and in 2022, he played golf with Travis and Patrick Mahomes. Was this the one and only man Kelsey would ever love? 
One of Taylor's backup dancers, Cameron Saunders, has a brother who was a player for the Chiefs until 2022, which is another intriguing finding. Indeed, he played with Travis as well right before Swifties were going to figure it out. A picture of Jason Sudeikis and Taylor playing Uno went viral. It was time to start over from scratch. It's no secret that the actor loves the Chiefs, and as a well-known figure who starred in one of the biggest dramas on Apple today, Ted Lasso, he most likely receives VIP passes to these games. Perform the calculations on your own. During one of his games, Jason was seen chatting briefly with Kelsey and then playing cards with Taylor. When you put two and two together, Selena Gomez, Taylor's best friend, could have been another Cupid contender. Selena was now a part of the big fancy softball game in 2019, and guess who else was there? Travis Kelsey is the one you see standing a few feet away from her just before the camera cuts. Who knows? Perhaps following the game, the two had a talk about the person they both greatly admire. However, these were all merely hearsay presumptions and suspicions. Aaron Andrews was the only one who could confirm their part in the love story. Most likely you're wondering, who? Aaron, an NFL broadcaster, recommended Travis to Taylor, who is essentially the greatest wingwoman that has ever existed. She revealed her role as Cupid to Seth Meyers, saying that Taylor needed a guy like Kelsey after all these years and that she was happy to have been a major factor in their relationship's development. Swift wore a line of clothing that she even released to one of Kelsey's games. I'm grateful, Aaron, everyone says. These two have never taken their eyes off one another since. Taylor goes to his games, and Travis goes to her concerts Everything is Just Right. At these games, they also have some of their greatest moments, whether it's cheering on the Chiefs to a point or losing their minds over Travis's injury. It only serves to highlight how devoted she is to the man. On the Eras tour front, Travis was observed dancing in the corner to the tunes of his companions. Take a look at this instance where Taylor changed the song's lyrics to Karma, it makes sense why admirers believe that this is the happily ever after she has been waiting for. Swift and Kelsey were spotted dancing together at a party to a remix of You Belong With Me after the Kansas City Chiefs won the Super Bowl. In relation to the Super Bowl, Travis is currently the center of attention. Super Bowl 57 drew 123.4 million viewers. Travis is expressing his thoughts about why everyone found his relationship so fascinating by asking about any new developments in his love life after his games. That basically sums up how they got together and how their relationship is going, but what comes next? Is Travis going to break the internet and pose the big question? His teammates sincerely hope so. Harrison Booker is hoping that they get married because, like the rest of us, he believes Taylor is the one for him wonderful things to say about her, and as I mentioned at Georgia Tech, I hope they I hope they get married and have a family," he remarked. Yes, that is correct. After the Super Bowl, the couple took some time off from their heiress tour and went on vacation to the Bahamas. They were cited having a great time at the Bird Street Club in Los Angeles a few days prior. It's safe to say that these two embody everything that makes a power couple. You have the three-time Super Bowl champion and the pop music phenomenon. You would see a couple like this in a motion picture. For Taylor, that part feels like the best one. Since she appears to be the happiest woman alive at the moment, fans have shown their unwavering support for them. A ring on her finger is the only item missing. When you do that, Travis, there's only one song that ought to be playing in the background. Anything else is wholly inappropriate. What do you believe these two are going to achieve in the end? Is their future filled with happiness, or is there a danger approaching? Tell us in the comments section below.